So hello everyone, welcome to the latest segment of our channel that is Medicine News Today. This will be a monthly news section where we will cover important news from the world of medicine and clinical research. So in this particular segment, we have three important news stories. First is the start of TB vaccine trials in India, followed by the hike of essential medicines in the country, followed by the anti-obesity rush to develop that drug in India. Before we move on, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get amazing news from the world of clinical research and stay updated. Let's start. So the first news we have is that Bharat Biotech begins clinical trials of TB vaccine on adults in India. So if you see that uh, recently we celebrated World Tuberculosis Day on March 24th and uh, on the occasion of that Bharat Biotech initiated the clinical trial for tuberculosis vaccine called as MTBVAC on adults in India. So up until today the cure for tuberculosis was through antibiotics and it was a long procedure but Bharat Biotech is working on clinical trials on a drug which is developed by Spanish biopharmaceutical company Biofebri okay and this uh, MTB vaccine is the first vaccine to be derived from a human source okay and this particular vaccine aims to be a uh, more effective and long lasting than the current BCG vaccine which is used for newborns and to prevent tuberculosis in ad adults and adolescents and this particular trial is important this particular news is important because India is one of the major country where tuberculosis is a major endemic disease and almost 28% of the world TB cases occur in India. So you can see every uh, one in four people across the world affected by TB is from India. So when Bharat Biotech begins this vaccine clinical trial, it, it is a clear indication that there is a vaccine on the horizon and let's hope the results of this trial are promising so that we can eliminate tuberculosis once and for all. So if you are someone, a clinical research professional on your side, if you have uh, this Bharat Biotech uh, vaccine clinical trial, then you are having an opportunity to work on one of the most amazing vaccines. Let's move on to the next story. So the next story is uh, the prices of the essential medicine are slightly increased from April 1st, 2024. And this particular price hike has increased uh, almost 12% uh, last year and 10% in 2022, okay? So if you see, uh, compared to the inflation, even the essential medicine prices are increasing. And this is a cause of concern uh, majorly because we are not uh, one of the developed countries and although being pharmacy of the hub, the per capita income uh, in this particular country is not that high. Plus if you see, uh, if you see the uh, employment uh, data that is released in this particular week, then the affordability of the medicine becomes one of the important factors when we combat the disease burden of this country. Again, the prices of the uh, essential medicine is uh, set by the National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority. So if you are a, a medicine or pharmaceutical professional, you need to know that who is the authority that sets the pricing of the essential medicine. So that is NPPA. And from April 1, they are going to implement a slight hike and this particular will include uh, medicines such as antibiotic, painkillers and other uh, categories. And the NPP announced that the change will amount to 0.0055% uh, of medicine under the National List of Essential Medicine. So if you want to learn about National List of Essential Medicine, I will put the link in the description so that you can refer to that video and thoroughly understand what exactly is National List of Essential Medicine. And uh, what the NPPA is quoting is that this particular annual change in the pricing is due to the wholesale price index uh, difference and the change okay so once the wholesale price index or this change in WPI and that is uh, directly correlated to the inflation then the cost of medication also increases so the government is trying to keep the cost as minimum as possible but considering the inflation considering the uh, geopolitical situation there are bound to be increase in the uh, raw materials followed by increase in the final goods Okay, so there is a slight increase in the medicine, but uh, still uh, when it comes to essential medicine, the NPPA has a good hold over it and uh, it would, wouldn't be a significant uh, 
increase. So it is just 0.0055%. But considering the large 134 uh, crore population, let's see what exactly is the final implementation of it. Let's move on to the next news. Now, if you've uh, seen the latest news, you can see that the major pharma players are rushing into anti-obesity market and they want to get into the Indian shelf so that they can be uh, the first uh, people to sell that particular drug and get the advantage. Now, why is this a sense? Because if you see that there is a massive demand in expensive weight loss drugs such as Ozempic. Okay, Ozempic is one of the famous weight loss drugs in India and as people are getting more and more health conscious, they are moving towards uh, exercise. Along with that, they also want a certain drug which can assist their transformation. And you would be surprised that the weight management uh, market in India is likely to grow from is likely to grow from 1514 crore in 2022 to almost 2763 crore. Okay, so that is a significant increase in terms of market and everyone wants their share in the market. So companies such as Novo Nordis, Eli Lilly, Roche, uh, Vivas are a major player in global uh, obesity market and they want to compete in India. And it is not the, only the global players, but the Indian players such as Sun Pharma, Dr. Eddie Storin, Zydus Kedil are also focusing on anti-obesity drug uh, candidates to increase the demand. So if you're a clinical research professional, so uh, in the next 5 to 10 years, you will be seeing more and more weight management drug trials on the healthy patient and the diabetic patient and you would see that where the pharma industry is going and where they want to launch its products. So if you are someone who is working on anti-obesity drugs then keep an eye how are these drugs performing and how it's affecting the Indian market. And I would like to uh, inform all the uh, subscribers that uh, you need to know that which are particular uh, blockbuster weight loss drugs currently used across the world. So there are four major drugs. First is uh, Orlisat, okay. Uh, then is semaglutide, then is ligraglutide, and there is uh, topiramate, okay. And uh, this particular drugs drugs are uh, developed by respective company, and you need to know at least the functioning of the drug. For example, semaglutide is one of the most promising drug. And it is developed by uh, Novo Nordisk. If you have seen recently, the market cap of the Novo Nordisk uh, company has increased significantly and it has become one of the most uh, important company across the world. Okay. And that particular semaglutide, as I've said, that uh, it has brand name Ozempic. Okay. So Ozempic is uh, one of the most uh, desired drug to uh, decrease weight. Okay. So weight loss drug, it is uh, very favorite. And this particular semaglutide was originally developed as a diabetes management drug. And uh, during the clinical trial, they saw that it also has application when it comes to weight loss. Okay. So this particular uh, drug costs almost 2,800 to 3,500 for one seven milligram uh, tablet when it comes to tablet form. And uh, it is one of the most demanded. And if you see uh, the market of current uh, pharmaceutical industry, then when it comes to uh, weight loss, it is one of the most significant market right from the weight loss journey, fitness trackers, uh, the medicines, the exercise machines and everything but when it comes to drugs or uh, medicines then that becomes one of the most significant and hot commodity. So you need to know which particular brands are uh, currently used in the world and uh, who produces them so that you are very much update when it comes to uh, clinical research and pharmaceutical news. So thank you for watching this video. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you are aware of the latest innovations and significant news in the world of pharmaceuticals, medicine and clinical research. For that, subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Thank you.